What's up guys, Jordan here, and this is the first video of what I hope will become a weekly video series where I answer about three recently or frequently asked questions, then in the middle I have a quick little tech bite of news, and then I end this video by asking you guys a question that you'll tell me the answer in the comments below. Now the first question that I'm going to be answering today is one that I get a fair amount, and it kind of bothers me that I do because I thought I had come up with a great solution for this potential problem, but I guess not. It goes something like... I was watching your objective tutorials and I get to a certain lesson and I can't find the next one or I'm having a hard time following your objective tutorials in order stuff along that lines and what I was doing initially was I was adding a nice annotation at the bottom of my earlier videos and then I came up with the idea well what if I added a nice little video clip at the end and I put an annotation over each of the three little boxes and the first one linked to the first video um, the first tutorial so if you came in in the middle you could go right to the beginning and watch all of them through and then the previous tutorial and then the next tutorial right there and I thought this would help you guys out follow it but I guess not since there's been a fair amount of people uh, asking about that but just stay till the end of the video and you'll see that nice video clip also there is a playlist that I put all of my objective C tutorials in so if you're having problems following them all in order just go to this playlist you can just click right here if you're on a computer and uh, it'll take you right to the playlist with all of them in order now the next comment slash question is probably the one that I've been getting the most over the past year two years ago I uploaded a video on how to download YouTube videos using a program called GitTube. But for some reason, GitTube had a bug in it after a while and it started freezing up. Well, a year ago, I uploaded a video on how to fix this with a different version of GitTube. And this worked for a short time, but then again, GitTube started freezing up. And I've been getting lots of comments about how it's freezing up, and I've been meaning to upload a new video on how to download YouTube videos on a Mac, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But within the next week, I'm gonna upload one and I'll link it right here and also subscribe up there to be notified when I do. Now for a quick break from the questions for our bite of tech news. Now yesterday on June 16th, Apple finally announced their annual back to school promotion for college students. Now in years past, this promotion let a college student get a free iPod Touch when they bought a Mac along with the educational discount on that Mac and $100 off a printer. Now this year it didn't feature a free iPod Touch, which was a bit of a bummer, nor did it feature $200 off a new iPad 2, which was rumored for a short time. This year it featured a free $100 gift card to the iBook, iTunes, Mac app, or regular app store. Now for specifics on who this promotion is available to and more specifics on the promotion itself, check the link in the description box below and it'll take you right to the back to school promotion page on Apple's website. Now back to the questions and the next question is one that I've been getting really ever since I started my Objective-C tutorials. And the question is how can I and where can I download those great keynotes that you show us at the beginning of each lesson? And the answer to that question is that currently, no, I don't have a place where you guys can download them from right now. But I have a question for you guys regarding this. Would you guys be willing to pay a small price for these keynotes? Because I do put a lot of time and effort and work into the lessons and the keynotes. Now, it wouldn't be anything atrocious like a dollar or more for a keynote. It would be something like 50 cents around there, maybe 75 cents for a longer keynote. Um, I also might package them together where you can get about 20 keynotes for five to 10 bucks. Just tell me what type of price you would actually pay for these. Now I probably will charge a little bit for them, but I don't wanna charge too much because I'm not trying to like rip you guys off or anything, but it does help if I can get a little bit of money from these since I do have to put a lot of time and effort into these tutorials and keynotes. Now how I'm going to end all of these videos is by asking you guys a question, but since this is the first video, I actually have three questions for you guys. The first being, do you enjoy these types of videos where I answer frequently or recently asked questions and then have a bit of tech news in the middle? If so, tell me in the comments below. Also, let me know if you're willing to actually pay for those keynotes and if you're interested in even downloading them and if you are willing to pay for them, how much? Tell me that below. And also, I was wondering, would you guys ever be interested in uh, going to a live stream if I held one 
this summer. So tell me that in the comments below as well. Be sure to subscribe up there to be notified when I upload how to download YouTube videos on a Mac. And be sure to like this video. That's always greatly appreciated. And thanks for checking this video out. And I'll hopefully see you in my next one real soon. Later.